To quote Tyler Durden from Fight Club, the things you own end up owning. These white men love the film Fight Club. Do you know how many videos I've watched and reacted to? And man are always pulling up quotes and scenes and that from Fight Club. Why do white men love the Fight Club so much? I'm telling you right now, yeah, now that I've said that, yeah, watch, watch in a month's time from watching this video, you're going to hear some white guy talk about, oh, that scene in Fight Club, Fight Club. Why do they love that film so much? What's the silver? Do you know what? I guess it's no, no different to a black man talking about boys in the hood or paid in full. So, yeah. Silver lining, it doesn't have to continue like that. The first stepping stone in personal finance will have you drawing an awareness to your relationship with money. This is often done by journaling your monthly expenses, categorized as housing, transportation, food, utilities, entertainment, and so on. It's about understanding yourself as a consumer, but this part is tough. In behavioral finance, this feeling can often be labeled as the ostrich effect, which is our tendency to want to avoid negative financial information. It's that feeling you get when you refuse to look at your bank account after a night out fearing what it might show and yet once you pass this stage it's time for you to take i have never felt like that i've never sat down and thought to myself i don't want to look at my bank balance in that if you feel like when you're out on this night out or then or the day after the morning after if you feel like i don't want to look at my bank balance you shouldn't have gone out to begin with and the thing is Certain people will feel obligated to go out because all their friends are going out and that. they don't want to be the odd one out. If you're with friends that can't understand your situation and that, well, why the fuck are you hanging around with them? Yeah, if, you, if you're, they said the word ostrich, yeah, if they're going to ostracize you for not being able to afford to go out, why the fuck are you hanging around with these people? You know what I'm saying? What, 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 why are you even hanging around with people that, okay, you can't afford to go out and buy any drinks in that? What, they can't buy you two or three drinks? Between the four or five of them? Like, come on, man. Like, they're probably broke themselves. They're just not as broke as you. Dumb. Dumb, man. I hang around with them people there, man. I remember I went fucking to get a waffle the other day. And I remember, like, he kept me looking around and that. And the person I was with, they were telling me, ah, oh, um, yeah, oh, a lot of people were here. It must be the, the um, the day that uh, it must be the weekend that everyone gets paid and that. and I'm like rah is that is that a real thing that like, people have to wait until they get paid to go out and just enjoy themselves and get a nice little meal to eat that's madness